What is up everybody? How are you all doing? My name is Brandon and this is the Brandon Experience, home for the best beauty education and business development done the right way. I've had so many clients come in this week and the first thing I hear out of their mouths when they walk in is, I want the Michelle Obama. On today's video, I'm going to be teaching you all how to do a Michelle Obama inauguration 2021-esque type of look. Of course, the hair has to be cut and has to be a certain density to mimic it perfectly, but I'm going to show you all how you can achieve a very similar look. I have prepped our model's hair today with our Color Wild Color Security Shampoo, Conditioner, and Dream Coat. This is not a blow dry tutorial, so I'm actually going to get started showing you all from the beginning how to curl the hair. Today I'm going to be using the Bio Ionic Curler. This is the 1.25 inch. I really like this for speed purposes because it has an extremely long barrel. And this just helps you to get through the hair faster compared to perhaps like a regular size. Use your clips to section your hair off. You want your curls to last. It's important to not let them drop all the way down because if you let them drop, then they lose the memory that you just put in. So hold it just for a second until it cools and then release it. If you want like the ultimate maximum amount of hold, then you would wanna go ahead and just pin curl this and then pull them down when they're cool. A lot of the modern curl styles that you see will actually leave the ends out. Um, this look, we're going for a super polished, flowy look. So it's totally okay if you wanna curl the hair with the ends included in the curl. So as we progress up the head, I am going to start making sure that my curls are going to lead away from the face. The style can be achieved using a smoothing iron or it can be achieved using a curling iron, whatever is your tool of comfort. Be mindful of your points of revealing. So like if your client has a closure or you have a closure, um, be aware of how you curl in those areas so that you're not exposing the area that's intended to give realness to your extensions. Around the face, if you approach the section vertically like this, it actually is going to elongate the curl and it's gonna give you a little more length around the face. And in the sections immediately around the face, if you want to kind of start the curl a little lower and leave this section smooth, um, that's fine as well. That's going to lead to more coverage and drama in the front. You want to kind of barrel curl the mohawk of your style. Um, and if you leave those barrel curl going like horizontal or vertical, depending on how you want to say it, going back, that's going to give you a lot of lift and body at the top of the style. Um, if you want it to be more elongated, take the whole section on the side together. The larger the section, the more body, the looser the curl. The tighter the section, the more definition and the tighter the curl you're going to have. Now to really get that drama around the face, we are actually going to be over directing the front section so that when we comb it back, it has a deep dramatic swoop in the front. So I'm actually going to pull this section towards the front of the face, insert my barrel at the root, and then start my curl there. That's gonna ensure that the hair sweeps away from the face. show you all right from the front how it looks when I'm curling it and then take that section and hold it that's our drama piece right in the front 
So we're gonna let this cool down totally before we start doing any type of styling. So I'm going to start off by making sure to conceal any areas that may have become exposed during your styling process right at the root. Uh, this is just a like special comb that I got from uh, Cynthia Lumsey's page. She calls it the struggle comb, but I really like it because I feel like because of the way the teeth are separated, it really gives you like fullness. It almost like separates and teases the hair at the same time, if that makes sense. That shine is thanks to our Color Wild Drain Co. And I'm going to work in sections. So the hair has been sprayed. I went ahead and used our cult favorite hairspray. And now I'm just going to soften up and relax the curls just a bit. So for your front section, literally to mimic it, if you curl it straight down, your curl is just going to fall. But if you want that extra drama, curl it towards the front and then flip the section away, curl the section towards the front. And flip it away. Flip it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you all the pro tip. If you want a little extra drama in the front, go ahead and take your iron and you literally want to dig this into the area that you want styled away from the face. Really dig that iron down into that area without touching the curl and that's gonna give you a good dramatic swoop in the front. Go ahead and pull your hair towards the front to give you a little fullness around the face. Lay your edges. And then you got the bayang in the front. You are ready to go. I hope you all have enjoyed this look. It's super simple. You can do it in a very short amount of time. It's a very classy look. It gives you a little, a little drama, a little flair, but I think it's presentable and it's acceptable for every occasion. Be on the lookout for our next video next week. More fun to come here on the Brandon Experience. Everyone, please stay safe, and I will see you all next week. Same time, same place. Same channel. There we go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>